Hi, this is Steph Mischuk. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, to use Dreamweaver CS3 to connect to your web server, your hosting company, using this Dreamweaver's built-in FTP program. FTP is short for File Transfer Protocol. Essentially, an FTP program is a program that just is, is designed to move files back and forth from uh, over a network, and in this case, over the biggest network in the world, the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Dreamweaver CS3 FTP program to connect to your web server so that you can upload your website to the server so that the world can see your website. I've popped open Dreamweaver 3. You see here I've defined uh, a few sites already. Let me just cancel that. So what, I, what I've done here is I've actually uh, registered uh, domainkillerwordpress.com for the sake of some WordPress demos I'm going to be doing. And uh, here we see what the uh, I have on my, my own computer here in terms of files inside of killerwordpress.com. And I know it's the local view on my own computer because I've selected local view in this drop-down list here. When you want to see your files on your web host, you would select Remote View. We won't talk about the rest today. So right now, I have it set to look at the local view. So let's actually configure Dreamweaver now to connect to the web server. So what you want to do is you want to go to Site, Manage Sites, and you want to sec select the site. You see I have three defined here in Dreamweaver. I want to select the site where I want to make some changes and add the FTP information. So this site definition box appears. Now you, a lot of people are going to get this. Uh, what I would like to do is go to advanced. I find that easier for me. So let's just use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click remote info. Now, I've already filled in the information prior to making this video, but I'll walk you through what my steps were and why, where I got this information, etc. So, first thing we want to look at is this first drop-down list, the access drop-down list. You notice that we have several options uh, that we can use to access the remote server, our web host. The most common, by far, the one that 99.9% .9 of you are going to be using is the FTP. So we're going to select the FTP. And FTP host essentially is the address of your web server. This is the address you get from your hosting company. They'll give it to you, no problem. Then you're going to get a login name and you're going to get a password. Again, you get these three pieces of information from the hosting company. Host directory. This basically tells Dreamweaver to automatically connect to a particular directory on your hosting company's uh, server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this public underscore HTML for now. Reason I have this in here is because I know that on my server, the killer site server, all our websites uh, are configured so that uh, they are they all go into a folder called public HTML on the server. So that uh, this is where the live files, the files that people see when they come surfing uh, at your site. This is where everything sits. Now, if this is a little unclear, let me demonstrate in about two seconds here. So I'm just going to remove this uh, just for the sake of uh, this video. And I'm going to hit the test button so that Dreamweaver will now test to see if uh, we've filled in this information properly and we know everything's working. So as we can see, Adobe Dreamweaver CS3 connected to your web server successfully. So we hit OK. Let's, for instance, pretend that I didn't put in a right login name. So I'll just, I just changed it. I'm going to hit test again, and now we're going to get an error. FTP error, error, FTP error occurred. Cannot make connection to host. Your login or password is incorrect. So that it actually tells us specifically what's wrong. So I'm going to fix that again. Hit test. As you can see, uh, now I'm connected successfully. Why well, happens if I change the address wrong? Let's say I put a different number here and I hit test. As you can see, again, now we notice we got a different error here. FTP error occurred, cannot make connection to host. Remote host cannot be found. So essentially it's saying, this message is saying, we can't find this, this address here. 
because it's actually it's not a proper address. Let me just change it to a proper structured address, but a different address. And you're going to see yet another error message. Watch this. Now, here's a, an error message where Dreamweaver cannot, again, Dreamweaver cannot make connection to holes. It can't con connect to this address. Now, the reason it can't in this case, because we don't actually have access to that address for real. But as you can see, Dreamweaver gives you a bunch of options and uh, which will help you diagnose any problems. So I'm just going to um, put the right address. As you can see, we've connected successfully. And I'm going to hit OK. Done. So again, we're back at the main Dreamweaver window now. And we're looking at the local view of KillerWordPress.com. Basically, Dreamweaver is showing us this folder here. And we'll view this so it looks similar, as you can see. So what we want to do now is check, take a look at what, what we see on the remote server. Here we go. So you see on the remote server, we got all kinds of different folders. And this can be confusing for people at first. Let me just explain a couple of quick things. All the stuff that the people see when they come visit your website, all the pages that people see are in the public HTML folder. And that's why, if you remember, in the site definition window, manage sites, in remote info, host directory, I had put in public HTML, right? Because I wanted to just deposit the files directly into this folder directly. All these other folders, temp and mail and so forth, have nothing to do really with your typical web design work. The www dot folder you might think is where you would put all your web files, but actually that's something that the server uses and you shouldn't touch that. Anyhow, so now you see why I created that uh, in the site, excuse me, let me just edit that. Why I put this in, because I wanted to go directly into that particular folder. Now you see Dreamweaver is disconnected because I changed the site information, remote information. So I'll just reconnect by clicking this button. And as you can see, we don't see all those folders anymore because Dreamweaver has taken us right into the public HTML folder. And that's where all the action is. To finish off this video, we're going to just upload a file. Uh, let, me, let me cancel that. I'm just going to local view. So I'm going to upload this index.php file. Now here it is, pretty simple. Welcome to KillWordPress.com. So to upload files in Dreamweaver, there's many different ways. But uh, the easiest way for me is, is you select the file you want to upload, and then you select the Put Files button, the up arrow. And that will just basically upload a file to the server. So I'll just click that. And that's it. It's, uh, since it's only one file, it runs very, very quickly. Another way you can output a file, excuse me, output, upload a file rather to the web server is if you're editing the file, you can select this button here, File Management, click the drop down, and you can use put. Put means to put it on the server, and get means to download from the server. Sometimes you want to do, do either or. So you can also use a shortcut key. Control shift U on the PC. So I'm just going to click put and it's uploaded a file. So if we go to killitwordpress.com, you see that our file is indeed has been uploaded onto the web server.